is game number three. R.R.Q. Hoshi versus Blacklist International. It's a mirror start, purple for purple. Purple for purple. I mean, that's why it's important. Uh, of course, in the early game, the, the cooldown will just make a big difference. For Albert in particular, though, on the Fanny, right? This is one of the main buffs, so he needs to make sure that he can get it without any interruption. I think something very interesting uh, throughout this whole series as far, right? Online Venus has focused a lot of focus on Hachi instead of Ohep. Ohep, I think he should be able to handle the Lunox earlier in terms of the level, but because the Lunox is being brought into the gold lane, that's not four minutes problem, it's a three minute problem. So the heal coming out from Skylar's first skill will be a little bit skewed towards, but uh, it's a lot of damage Green members already at the bottom side. Vin get terrified a little bit. No biggie for RRQ for now. Yeah, no, this is very similar to game two. Again, how Blacks International put the pedal to the metal early on and spent battle spells as they should to better oh. time that first turtle take. We're about a minute away, 50 seconds before that happens. And I have eyes on Albert because this is a huge presence they have in bottom lane. Yeah, I feel like right here, the first two uh, games, they're focused a lot on the mid lane, but now all my minutes using the ticker for now. Albert actually stunned Albert. Albert does have the ultimate this time around activated, but no kills for now. Oh, Blacklist International will sign for relief. They're trying to actually collapse on this bottom side. But of course, the turtle is on the top side. So Albert goes in aggressively. He is all alone, though. This might be a mistake. A missed cable, but Albert managed to get out just nice. A lot of focus happening at the bottom lane. Oh. Skylar will be the one that we had focus on. Skylar burn off the flicker right off the bat for now. Blacklist three members at the bottom lane. But Fanny is slowly working towards the turtle pit. Yep, that's... Uh key battle spells spent at least maybe seconds before this turtle and it looks like they come to a gentleman's agreement all right we get purple first both of us and <laughs> then we try to contest i mean skylar on this lunog right this is what makes it a deceptively good pick there's good sustain good ultimate potential he's going 1v1 against Ohem oh. right here Ooh. i can see the beauty oh. of this right now skylar going in oh we'll not be able to miss a shot skylar will not be taking down taking down his counterpart just yet Oh, Vin at about half health here at level four already. Oh, my Venus not hitting that quite yet because the queen has been left to oh, again babysit so much of mid and bottom. And with that being said, oh, top lane. Top lane spins to win, but I would not will be the one that wins it away. So a little bit of a Mexican standoff. A very slow early game, if you ask me, ladies and gents. It's a tough situation for RRQ because compared to game number one, they don't really have a lot of targets that they can just burst down, like we saw and to get Albert snowballing. Edward is just tanky, he can run away. Haji is relatively mobile as well, and right now they're going for the turtle oh, play. Real one minute to go in, the little minute charges. It's gonna be the move back and hits down. This two crazy real wall manipulations putting out the down the damage, but it's gonna be Edward that picks up the first blood for now. Oh, Edward forcing Clay to flicker Ooh. underneath that turret. Crystal Boy keeping him where he is. But all this time, it's Blacklist who has their eyes on the bigger picture. A clear lead already, three minutes in, a thousand gold. Arashi, what are they doing with that gold? Clay is building towards uh, mana regeneration. He definitely wants to be able to clear Hello. this wave. And Albert just comes in with some swag. <laughs> Won't be enough right here. And as you can see, Skylar with the mana boots as well. He just must try and sustain in the lane, play it safe, try and avoid the ganks and possible. And on the other side, Blackness, you can see, starts itemizing for physical defense. Again, trying to counter, ensuring that Albert does not get to snowball, because that is a big factor for yeah. RRQ's victory. Something interesting right here. Oh, that's a wall charge already used, right? On top of Edward. But Edward just walks away, scoff it off like a boss. But hold on a second, real woman, individual coming down. Limit no much challenges. Albert will be able to pick up the bubble for now. Hydro will respond in the same. Oh. Ben coming in, just bouncing around. All the Hyrule's revenge going in. It's a choke point. And the son of the map of RRQ. And right now, Blacklist International. Up the double kill at the same time. Albert trying to spin the win, but we'll be able to take out the queen for now. It's gonna be the Roma trader for two members, but Wise is not putting out just yet. That one makes out R7. What's impressive is the fact that Haji did not die. I could have sworn his Valentina yeah. was going to bite it. But again, that's just what happens when you're the KDA machine. This young man has been playing jungle for a while. His career started that way. And that's what explains his mechanics. Speaking of mechanics, oh, Albert looking for one up top. Not Ooh. enough damage, I don't think so. Edward Whoa. may have goals in the split split just right in time. Albert will be getting out. Lumina Blast, Lumina Blast, oh! Skylar has to burn the flicker and an ultimate just to get out of there. Arashi, second turtle, spawning in about five seconds. Who has the advantage? 
I think Blacklist definitely has an advantage right now. 3K does not seem like much, but it does make a difference. And they have the pressure because uh, we've seen that they are the ones being more successful in these big fights. They are the ones that have the beefier members that have been able to survive most of the damage. And on our Q, they have to be careful because Clay and Albert has been the main target. Mm -hmm. Albert's in the vicinity as well. Wise will be the one that brings the retribution method for now. It's going to be hard. You can let down the fire. Would not be able to start our RQ for now. Blacklist International to pick up their prize and to walk away. It's a bit curious right here because usually when we see Clay you play the Yeeve against a Valentina, he is very careful in letting that Valentina steal the real manipulation. In this game though, Haji has been very active using that to spell demise for RRQ. It's just a, quite the interesting situation. I, I, I wonder what exactly is causing this. But as we look at the items right here, Ohab already has the Demon Hunter sword, so the frontliners, Vin as well as R7, are gonna be a bit uh, squishier in his eyes. So that is something that we have to be careful oh, about. Play. We'll not be able to activate the real one manipulation in time. That's another kill, given up at the time of the Blacklist, but Albert trying to spin. We'll not be able to find a kill. Unfortunate for RRQ. That was oats and a chicken sandwich thrown in there to take down one. Oh. But it's not done! It's not gonna be enough. It's gonna be Haji. We'll not be able to push Vin right into the wall. Blacklist Internationals walks away alive. That's a tough situation, man. We said RRQ has no targets on the side of Blacklist International, but the opposite is not true at all. If Clay gets hit by any kind of crowd control, the follow-up is more than enough to ensure that he gets taken out. So he is a sitting duck for the members of Blacklist you know International. Who's, you know who's a sitting duck? Oh, my penis. Oof. Concealed right out of there. Albert, just not enough damage. You mean invisible duck. Conceal play, saving the queen there. And again, it just shows that RRQ Hoshi, at this point in the game, mid-game, six minutes, seven minutes approaching, they need to shrink this 4K gold lead. And they're doing their best, right? They're finding things on the map, and it's come to the point where Wise can steal buffs away from Albert. This is a difficult place to be for the baby alien. I think right now, just RRQ unable to use Albert to find a pickoff. Another thing that we also need to take note of is Skylar, 000, right? Going into the clock item as the first item, he needs more time to get more damage to rack out. But once he gets that threshold, you expect Wise to get chunked down very quickly. Later on, though, it's going to be a, it's going to be a moment where the Lunars will do a lot of damage. Look at the Lunars blast! Go all the way in. It's going to be hours of a wall charge. The blazing doing going over the back line. It's going to be Haji three point the same. The turtle is actually forgotten by both of these two teams. Oh. But Albert is actually one of all. Oh. Sky following suit. Wise will also pick up Skala S for free, and they will go ahead and try to crack the mid lane open, and then rotate over to the turtle. That choke point became their demise. RQ Hoshi giving three members away for free. The blacklist. That load lead just astronomical at this point. Eight minutes in, about 7K. This last turtle going for free to Wise, and the map is red. It's just such a, it's so sad for RRQ. They tried to make the play happen, but they get comboed instead. I was about to say that later on, there'll be an extra factor in Skylar being a big problem for Blacklist. But before that can even happen, Blacklist oh. seems to be trying to end the yeah. game early. Make sure that the gold lead is just too big. I saw that, right? Leo, Fail, you saw that, steal, right? Steal. It's so Albert was trying to invade, take the purple buff. Don't forget, a fanny without a purple buff is basically playing the game with half your hand. Albert is doing exactly that. Well, where did the purple buff go is my question. Now it's Wise's turn to do the same. Oh. And oh, this time he gets it. No orange for you, sir. Not today. Let's look at the items here. About nine minutes in. What's uh, going on here, Arashi? Can we expect Skylar to come online soon? Well, on the other side, Ohab already has the golden staff, so yeah. things looking more difficult for him. And Skylar is still so far away from his power spikes, it's gonna take a bit longer, oh. man. The minimum blast across the wall for now. There's the flicker going in. We'll be able to catch Vin at the same time. Real woman and Blitz coming off for Clay. Providing some support as well. R7 will not be able to find anything at all. Haji will be the one first fall. But Skylar, here comes the Blaze into a coming off. Oh. We'll be able to pick up R7 in the back line. But unfortunately, Skylar will be able to return that tray to damage dealers for just a Ark and also the Kufra. A relative messy team fight. They yes. engaged with Valentina, Haji getting the wild charge and was taken down even before it made a difference. So with that being said, where does RQ Hoshi go this time around, Arashi? What does Albert do? Albert needs to just be a nuisance right here. There's no real easy target he can just one shot. So if he just splits the map around, making, su making sure that the members of Blacklist are constantly worried about him moving in out of nowhere, he can allow the rest of the team to just do damage because we saw that Skylar, despite only having a clock of destiny, is beginning to do a lot more damage. Pers so, yeah. Personally, I feel like, guys, 
I feel like Albert has been going out without Bubba Bubba. Hold on a second. He may actually be able to do anything something for now. Skylar will be able to shred all my business in the back line for at the same time. Skylar almost close to take down Haji though. But back to my point. I think Albert has gone three minutes without a purple buff. And look what Blacklist is doing. They're just starving him. Yeah. That's key. And again, if, if his goal is to split up the map and maybe pick up a purple along the way, mm -hmm. then that's just gravy on top, right? I... And they're not out of the woods just yet. There's a small win here that they're looking at, a possible push up top. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we got to take a look back at this game. If you notice Blacklist International, Blacklist International today did not clear the purple buff. If you notice, the purple buff is there, but it's only that small little big dude, right? Right now, what Blacklist International is doing is basically starving out. There's only one purple on the map. Oh, and they've turned it into a bait yeah. because look, they're engaging. Look, they're engaging for now. It's going to be Albert this time around. Unable oh. to secure the purple buff for now. It's going to be Min that actually falls. Engage are coming up from RQ. Skylar is trying to be doing some damage by the back line, but we're not oh. able to find it. Right, so going in. The Black do it. Coming in the back line. The Lumina Blast Chargers will not be able to connect on top of Skylar for now. Albert coming in with Sweet. Hachi will be done our first ball. Tim to fall. Coming up from Blacklist alongside with Hachi. Two for two. And just like that, key members going down. Vin and R7 while Blast International. I wonder who made this call. I'm pretty sure it's the Queen. They go straight for the Lord. Straight for the Lord. Albert. Albert is trying to make a play happen here. He's alone. He's actually 3v3. He does have the retribution, ladies and gents. It's all about the retribution. Albert will not be able to do so. He will lose it live to the Queen. Instantaneous punish. Arashi, what's RQ Oshi to do? They need to play a more conservative, man. I think that when they try and counter engage with the wild charge, they're finding a lot more success. But Blacklist is not letting them breathe at all. Right now, RQ are trying their best to clear the waves. And if you look at Skylar, the damage is starting to build up. He has a Divine Glaive. And if you look at R7, he has a Blade of Despair as well. So the damage is available. It just needs to land on the right person. But of course, Oheb already has the Athena Shield as well unwilling to ensure that he does not get shut down, get picked off by the members of our RQ. Game two draft, again, it was so easy for Blacklist to defend. Again, just build physical defense, but now I'm liking the damage coverage. There's a good amount of magic, good amount of uh, physical, especially from R7. I am afraid to walk into his Grok in a dark alley at night, but now it looks like the choke is continuing. No purple for you, says Blacklist, as they go ahead and pressure all lanes. The map is turning red. The strength of the Fanny is being quelled. Usually you're so mobile, now you're stuck in your base. Yeah. I feel for the baby alien. It feels bad, man. <laughs> Albert had a wonderful game number one with the Fanny, and I think Blacklist International, that's just ingenious the way they start about the map, right? Right now, if you notice, there is no, there's no two purple buffs. There's only one purple buff in this whole land of Dawn, and this is insane strategy coming off of Blacklist. What's really difficult for our Q right See? now is also the fact that Clay is very, very behind. He finally now builds the glowing one. So this will be a big factor. Multiple instances of damage will be buffed by that item. So in these fights, if it oh. draws on for long enough, there's going to be a, a lot of extra damage coming in from that Eve, and also a lot of percentage HP damage coming in towards Edward, Wise, and Venus. So we'll have to see if that will be enough for our Q to win the next team fight. I think they have to play it a lot slower for just a bit longer, man. They need items to ensure that they have even a chance of beating, of making a comeback. Yeah, about a minute before the Lord spawns, so that should be a good indicator. Should be a nice way to say, you know what, we'll wait for that Lord, and then we'll make a play. Looking at the player's gold here, Skylar, at least the gold is going to the right people for RQ Hoshi, right? It's going to their gold laner, and I'm still waiting. We saw a little bit of that taste. And Jay's, you're right, man. Oh, Bert comes here, like, oh no, that's miserable. They left the tiny one for me. Yeah, and the worst part is it's gonna be wise already at a purple bar. Basically, Blacklist reading RRQ's movement like an open book. There's nowhere that Elbert will be able to do anything once again. Wise in another purple buff away from RRQ. It's it's I mean Blacklist they're moving so so well and RRQ are trying to get a pickoff, but when you have a Kufra as your main engage tool, it's very one-dimensional. As long as the front line does not leave any gaps for the Kufra to dash into. The back line, Oheb and Haji is relatively safe. Oh, that's a strike coming off of Skylar. There's a lot of damage going in. And what is that? trying to survive by here comes Oheb as well. He's saying now the BMI does very well, but Haji will be able to come in the first kill. Haji in will be able to delete Haji right over that. Oh my goodness, charges. It's gonna be the Vin stuck right in the bouncing ball. And now it's gonna be blacklist. They do have Oheb and they'll push out the back. And R7 will fall. Three members falling just for the cost of Haji. The KDA machine takes three down along with him, and Blacks International is ripe 
for the pick, and they can do anything they want. Force an inhibitor, take Lord here, that is luminous. Arashi, what's the best call? They have to try and clear the wave as much as possible. I mean, Albert has already tried and done that, but in the bottom side, three members of Blacklist trying to make sure that they can do something. Manipulation, Oheb is already half HP. He has to slow down. Clay, that's only only person that actually defends for now, but at the same time, Wise starts down the Lord. That's a 1v1 that Wise has started. Albert. And it looks like he can. Albert! Oh, Albert. Oh. Albert will not be able to connect. The split split, an unfortunate pass if it's not full enough for Edward to jump on top, but it's already Wise already on the job right here, putting down some damage on top of the Lord. It's going to be a free Lord over to Blacklist International. So much pressure coming from Blacklist, and they waste no time at all. Getting the Lord, they go for the purple buff yet again. All the minimum be charged up. Luminum last gets cancelled, but that is oh. okay because Haji can also engage. Oh. For Blacklist International, Finn catches wise, but oh my god, Albert cannot do anything for now. Blacklist International, they will push up their advantage, but they are have another lore marching down. But just as quickly as Albert cabled on through, he says, Nope, never mind. That's five members of Blacklist I could be walking into. Looking at the items here, Blacks International, they're at the 52k threshold. Give them maybe 10 more, 15 more, they should start building into everything and they can juggle. RQ Hoshi, I'm seeing some blanks for Skylar, even Clay. So again, they have to extend that limit we're in. That magic damage is gonna hurt Arashi. Yeah. Exactly. Or charging in, Oham has to be MI all the way out. The damage has been done for the side of Blacklist International. There's a pre lord marching in from the bottom side. Clay force the real one manipulation going all the way up. No damage, no follow up coming up from Blacklist. They will take what they can, take down bottom lane. They're able to get the bottom side turret, and now they're just playing it very, very patient. They understand that they don't have to do anything extraordinary. If they just play common calculated, they are set for success with a 12k gold lead right now. And as you mentioned, Leo, the magic damage is going to start to hurt, but if you look at Blacklist items, they, they are Radiant Armors and Athena Shields all over the place. They are well prepared for that late, those late game team fights. So it's going to come down to utility, right? It's going to come down to what you got. Not, well, both. What you got and how you use it, right? <laughs> it's about the engagement, and maybe that's where Finn is going to be more, more important. Th they forced out a flicker from Clay this early on. I think the most important thing is how Blacklist has full control, and look at what they're doing right now. He's leaving a free, I don't know, gift behind for Albert. Albert's not going to do anything. He oh. is now, unfortunately, it hurts to say this, guys. Albert is just a split push minion. Yeah, no, because of the fact that there's two lords for Blacklist so far in this 18 minute game, we're approaching that. The, the waves are just so much oh, powerful. Oh, 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 oh. That's a very dangerous neighbor for Will. He has to cable all the way out. Blacklist International actually putting up some damage from the side, but Luminum Blast actually charge out. R7 using the wall charge again on the way. They don't want to engage Blacklist in this form. And now Blacklist has uses a bunch of ultimates. The Lord, fortunately, is not up, but RRQ, they understand that they have an opportunity here, a small window where Venus does not have the Numenon Blast. They might just get emboldened by it. They might be looking for a chance to try and make something happen, but of course Blacklist already just waiting, making up, setting up traps around the map for the members of RRQ. What's this last item that Clay is building towards? Uh, could that possibly be a uh, necklace or uh Winter? Winter? Winter Truncheon? I feel like you would just, at this point, require a lot more damage. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think the Holy Crystal would make sense, but we'll just have to see, man. It, it all depends on how the game progresses. And now with the Lord up, Blacklist yet again is pushing the tempo, and RRQ might be forced to engage onto one of the tankier members of the front. That is not what they want. Do they know this? There's three members of Blacklist up there. Is there vision on this? Because this rotation could be lethal. And I'm talking about both of them. This could have been a map uh, absence from Blacklist, but no, they're just looking for an answer. They're just yeah. making sure that they choke away the purple. The lack of information is hurting, especially RRQ, but at the same time, Edward tries to really try to buy some time. Albert is the one that can stun out. He has a cable all the way out of there. Blacklist International, they're looking for the hunt. They're looking for the assassin from the side of RRQ. Nothing to be found right there. The Luminous Blast lands on top of the Kufra, but would that be enough though? Blacklist International, I think they could spend it too much, and Vin jumps all the way in. The real world man, oh. but that's a nice Iron Ultimate coming up from Vin. Hopefully to try to change the game around. Skala will be able to take down OM and Blacklist International. They have overstayed their walk-up. Edward desperately trying to do some damage to R7. They're actually possessing for now. I think Blacklist International, oh. they overstayed their welcome. That was a one for one in the end, right? Gold laner for gold laner. And if you're 10k behind, 11k behind, I see that as a win. RQ Hoshi, they walked into that fight with conviction and they walked away with a small win. Right I now. Think.
Lord. 4v4 fight. Skylar go both goat laners. There's no pushing power coming out. It's up to Bin to try to set this up. Oh, Rin is trying to make the engage happen, but that's a lot of damage being traded on back there. Look at Omar Bin is making the play work. Lumina Blast going in. It's going to be the wall being built by the side of R7. And we're trying to be a nuisance right here, but he's dragging the bin towards it. Wise is actually working on top of the Lord. But oh! now trying to spin. Clay, he has a damage. He takes down the Valentina. And now it's going to be better. He's trying to desperately try to do some damage control. Oh, he just respawned. He is trying to make a beeline. But here comes R7 wall charge. Looking two members out from the side of Blacklist. It's going to be a back to back fight at the Lord Pit. It's a 4v5 right now, 20 minutes in. Every single death is painful. Every death timer will be upwards of a minute if you make Winnable. the wrong mistake, right? So this is very dangerous. RQ Hoshi have found a window. Bin charging it all the way up. Oh my goodness, there's nowhere to be there. Wise is actually going in to activate the window. Hall already. It's going to be Albert trying to look for some big up right there, but the wall is actually blocking all him. And these goes. The clay coming in with Ooh. the werewolf manipulation. Wise has to run away for him. And the back line with the blessing to win. Not good enough, but would be good enough to take down R7 for now. It's got a in the midst right there. He does have the chaos assault, but he has to bomb the villains at the same time. It's all my villains. That's where he tried to start. Finn will try to push a scrappy fight for both teams. Two for one, I was just talking about death timers, and that's about 40 and 50 for Vin and R7. It's a 3v5 for the next 30 seconds. It's four members of Blacklist against RRQ who do not have a frontliner. That is a dangerous game they're playing right now. Unfortunately for RRQ, the waves are still pushing in their favor, so they have a bit of a window, but Blacklist will not stay silent for long. They're already trying to get control in the Lord Pit, and R7 still 15 minutes away from respawning. Blacklist might just force it, or they might just bait a fight for RRQ. Fun fact, ladies and gents, Albert finally got his purple buff, right? Now he's actually actually playing the game. Blacklist, on the other hand, you know, they've got Wise coming back up. RRQ, they know they cannot accept this fight. They've got two members down. Play reward manipulation is available, but I don't think they can do anything for now. They send Albert home at half health. Oh, charge oh. up some energy. And word flicker, Clay will get possessed. Oh no, real world manipulation go in. Albert is really trying to go in the same. Haji will be taking the real world manipulation away from the side of Clay. He will be responding, but the main rise right here twice. Focusing on the Lord instead. Haji will be able to take down Clay. Whoa! Oh, the stray. Stole the Lord. It's crazy games coming out from RQ. But Blackness International, they're not giving up. They will take the fight with the dragon going in. It's going to already go. It's going to be an Illumina Blast country. Uh, members of RQ, it's going to be Albert oh. trying to defend. But RQ, they, they took the Lord. 5v1. No this way. is a dangerous no place way. to be. They popped the immortality on Baby no Alien. Way. And they're going to ride no this way. minion. It's just one minion. It's, it's just, just enough. two minutes oh. from Blackness International. They take game number three. Match point, ladies and gentlemen. Match point for the world champions and the king of kings in home court are sweating the kingdom all over, sweating. Arashi, this is, this is recovery. This is a streak broken. This is Blacklist.